in any minute. Now, while night three of the DNC is wrapping up, two new political ads were put out recently by the Great American PAC. Now, they highlight the importance of American leadership in the face of terror attacks all around the world. Now, the first ad features former New York City Mayor Rudy Giuliani. Watch this. Islamic extremist terrorism is on the rise. Five major attacks in seven months. The world must come together and defeat terrorism, and America needs to lead. Yet President Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton just want to stay the course. We simply cannot continue down this path of failed leadership. America's leadership can and must be better. And with Donald Trump as president, it will be. Now, the second ad features Dorothy Woods. She is the widow of Navy SEAL hero Ty Woods. Remember, he was killed in Benghazi while trying to save American lives. Watch this. My husband, Ty Woods, was a Navy SEAL and a fierce patriot. He was killed during the attack in Benghazi while saving American lives under the charge of our State Department. When Hillary Clinton was challenged by Congress on who was to blame for the attack, her response was a disgrace. The fact is, we had four dead Americans. Was it because of a protest or was it because of guys out for a walk one night who decided they'd go kill some Americans? What difference at this point does it make? The difference is while most families are reunited, some make the ultimate sacrifice. The difference is having accountability. The difference is being truthful to the American people. We need a leader who tells it like it is, who will have our backs. A leader we can trust to tell the truth. That leader is Donald Trump. And joining us now, former New York City Mayor Rudy Giuliano, Giuliani and the widow of Ty Woods. Dorothy Woods is with us. Dorothy, so nice to see you. Thank you It was you an honor. I got me. to meet you recently and, and have you on my radio program. Um, this is a powerful personal ad. Tell us how it came to fruition. Well, thank you for having me, Sean. Um, the ad came to fruition. I, I, you know, I aligned myself with the Great America PAC. Um, they actually, and the reason I identified with them the most was they really are about leadership and looking for a new leader for our country. And being having the military background that I have, being married to Ty, um, my family being in the military, that's very important. Um, and you have a little boy, uh, Kai. Yes. Uh, Ty and your son. Yes. How old is Kai now? He is four. Yeah. He was three months old when Ty passed. Um, you know, again, this 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 election is about many things. For me, it's about finding the leader, someone we can. You know, in this around. case, they lie. They, first of all, they deny, which is unbelievable. All the security requests as Great Britain and the Red Cross were getting out of Benghazi. They de denied 600 separate requests. Then during the attack. Your husband defied orders to go save lives, which I have been told he saved. And then Hillary was arguing whether or not we need to get approval from the Libyans to send in troops to save them, and then what uniforms they ought to wear, if they wear uniforms at all, and they had Marines and, and other military members changing in and out of their clothes four times, and they never said anybody, and then they lied about it afterwards. It's unfortunate, and, you know, uh, to kind of go back, first I want to thank, um, you know, Congressman Gowdy for uh, his committee, the, the work that they did. They did a great job. They did a great job. Um, they did their job. They remembered that they are servants of the American people, and they helped to answer questions. They knew they'd be ridiculed. They knew they'd be dismissed, but they did it anyway. Yeah. So what they found, some of the new facts that they found or reinforced the facts that were out there, helped me with my closure. Yeah. Um, By the way, I got to tell people because I've spent some time with you. What an incredibly strong <laughs> woman you are! No, seriously, um, people that go through such difficulties like this, some never come back. And I've now talked to you a number of times, and it's inspiring how strong you are. Let me let me bring in Mayor Giuliani sure. for a second, Mr. Mayor. You know, are you in the cybersecurity business a little bit too? Uh, for 13 years, yes. Uh, what are the odds? First of all, what is your reaction to how stupid the liberal media well, is? You, you could see how I was uh, laughing. You were laughing. Uh, first of all. David Gregory? I mean, is he serious? No. <laughs> Probably uh, that's true. First, first of all, the story here is her extreme carelessness in the way in which she handled national security information. That's the real story. Because nobody could have hacked it if she had been careful. <laughs> right, right, right. Uh, the fact is that there's a pattern here. She is completely irresponsible and reckless about national security information. And Mrs. Wood, 
if she had been a real Secretary of State, your husband would be alive today. If she had taken any care at all for securing that facility, they all would be alive today. And what she did was gross negligence in failing to secure that compound. We still don't know where the president was that night. If John McCain were president or Mitt Romney or me, we'd be in the Situation Mr. Room. Can I ask you Getting question? all of our forces there trying to help. She was in a meeting four hours after this 13-hour attack happened. By the way, they were viewing this in real time. I mean, that's a really scary situation. They knew what was happening. They knew it was terror. She told the Libyan president, Egyptian prime minister, and her own daughter it was terror in that case. And, and so my question to you is, if you were secretary of state and you had a meeting four hours later and you were the top cabinet official, how would you have handled that differently as secretary of state? Well, first of all, I would have made sure the president was awakened in the situation room. I would uh, make sure that we deployed all of our forces there. You wouldn't because, be worried about what clothes they were wearing? No, I wouldn't have been worried about what clothes they were wearing or whether Libya wanted us in or didn't want us in. I'd say, go. Go. You go in. Uh, hey, we didn't, worry, we didn't worry about Pakistan when we went and got bin Laden, did we? So why would we worry about Libya if we're going to save, save our people? All our forces would have been sent in that direction. Her husband could have been saved. Yes, I'll tell you why. You know, you know what their excuse is? Even some of the secretaries of defense, they say, well... You know, there wasn't enough time to save them. Now, I've been in a lot of emergencies, Sean, including the worst attack in the history of, of America, foreign attack. You don't know how much time you have to save someone. They could have been held hostage for five days or six days. So what you do in an emergency is you move all your forces there immediately. And had they done that, they could have saved lives. I think Ty and Glenn Doherty were the two of the last to die at the end of this process. Remember, they, they were given a stand-down order. And then, in spite if of it... If our forces had been there, it wouldn't have happened. If we had secured that mission, it wouldn't have happened. If we had closed it when the English closed it, and she had paid any attention to it, Benghazi alone makes this entire night a joke. Mm -hmm. This entire night is a complete silly joke. First of all, they talked about no substantive issue. And what Benghazi proves is she should never be president of the United States because she is not trustworthy enough, careful enough. This wasn't a 3 a.m. call. To protect American lives. Dorothy, this was a 3 p.m. or 4 p.m. call. She was in a, a meeting at 7, uh, 7.30 that night. She was the highest ranking official in there. When you, when you listen to the mayor and you see the facts and 600 denied security requests and during the attack they're worried about the clothing that, that the military that they'd never sent anyway would be wearing and then afterwards they lie to you, you lost your husband. I, I'd be angry. I would be extremely angry. Yeah, um, but being angry um, it doesn't help. and caring, I, it, it doesn't change the outcome, nor does it help. Now, you know... For the don't get me wrong, the first years is a very emotional and trying time. Um, you know, there was a lot that I had to work through, a lot that I tried to understand, a lot I had to figure out what was important. But really, what kept me going was I knew Ty. I knew the type of man. I knew the type of patriot he was, and I knew that there was no other place he would have rather been. But he was betrayed by our government and by her. I understand. True or that? false? True. True. Um, and that's my personal opinion. But you know, I'm pretty sure that he knew well into it that no help was coming and he oh. still and he still Wait. saved lives last word mr mayor well god bless him yeah really god bless you and he was entitled to a better commander-in-chief and secretary of state and and donald trump and mike pence and the people they choose going to be a heck of a lot better than we, what we, we saw on the stage tonight this president has left this country a in mess most, in the most dangerous state that it has been in since the cold war we had four bombings in Germany in eight days, and we had a Catholic priest Beheaded. whose head was chopped yeah. off, and they said nothing about it tonight. Can, can I just say Last one thing? Word. Yeah, one thing. Um, towards the end of his speech, President Obama had said to the effect of, sometimes we make mistakes. Hillary has made a mistake. That's what happens when you try. Well, you know what? Um, that's really easy for him to say in a crowd full of people cheering for him. That was difficult for him to say in a room full of families that okay. had just lost. I, I've got a good 